Hello again. This time I want to show you how you can create a stamped image in color and add it to your page. And you can use it to show the whole stamp image or just part of it. So what I did is I, to start with I added stamps onto a piece of blank 11, uh, 8.5 by 11 paper in white. And then I just increased the size of my stamp all of my stamp images here that I want to use the words. And I'm going to change this color to the Regal Rose. Now that I have this saved, I'm going to go to File, Save, and I'm going to go to Share Projects, Export to JPEG, and I'm going to select the one that I'm working on, and I'm going to click on Next until I find where I want to put it, which I have a, a file of my own. I'm going to override the ones that I've already been working on and hit finish. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to go over to your photo, your resource palette and your photos. You're going to browse and you're going to look up that file that you just saved that in. This is where all your JPEG files are located. And I'm going to find mine and you can see there it is. I'm going to go back into my program and I'm going to find the page that I'm working on. You can see I've already started doing some of these. What you're going to do is you're going to highlight it over and bring it to your page, drag in and increase it, and then you're going to double click and it will bring them up into your crop photo. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag and click on just the friends image that I want to, to show. And then I'm going to click on OK. I always wonder why this didn't take time to do. It worked last time. And then click OK. There we go. And then I'm going to add it right here. going to increase the size Whatever a bit. and I did the same thing with the other ones too I added um, I just kept adding the page to it and then I would double click it and then select just the option just the part that I wanted to show um, you could also clear it and then restart it like I went around down here and then you want to um, okay and what I did is I can just continue to add it and add parts of it until I got it where I want it. The difference with this one is that it shows you can do color, different colored stamps, but it has the white background. And you can also change that background to whatever color you want um, before you save it into your JPEG. And the other one only shows it in the black. So I hope you enjoyed these two techniques, um, something different that the program can offer you. And it opens up a lot of possibilities for um, new pages and new exciting elements. Thanks!